The United States Army Medical Research and Materiel Command is responsible for medical research, development, acquisition, and medical logistics management. The products developed by the USA MRMC protect and sustain the health and safety of our forces through deployment and combat. I'm Colonel Mike Kozar, the Director of the Military Infectious Diseases Research Program. Uh, right now, the, the, uh, the MIDRIP focuses on a number of areas, uh, primarily it's, it's infectious diseases that are of military importance. Uh, for example, um, our primary focus is malaria, dengue, diarrheal diseases, and HIV. Um, for the most part, these are diseases that are not encountered here in the United States in CONUS. They are encountered by our, our troops when they deploy. And for the most part, um, there are no, there, there may or may not be effective countermeasures or prevention strategies for those diseases. Um, for example, there is no current malaria vaccine, there is no HIV vaccine, there is no dengue vaccine, and there, uh, there are no diarrheal vaccines. Those are the exact things that we're working on. Um, we have had some success recently. The, uh, uh, in the HIV uh, uh, vaccine RV144 study that took place in Thailand uh, that was driven by the military uh, military HIV research program and for the first time that was the first vaccine that showed any efficacy against HIV. Uh, more recently, uh, last year, uh, GlaxoSmithKline did a trial uh, in Africa with RTSS uh, that was for malaria and originally that vaccine was developed by researchers down at the rare and in a collaboration with GSK uh, that vaccine is out there in clinical trials and for the first time, well, showed some efficacy, good efficacy in, uh, in Africa to protect uh, people from morbidity and mortality. Although it, didn't, it doesn't meet our needs militarily, we're using that information to come up with even better vaccines that will meet the military's need to protect the warfighter. Check the USA MRMC YouTube channel for future installments in this series and visit USA MRMC on the web for more information.